Well, congratulations, Anthony. A fabulous start. You must be delighted with that. Yeah, we were just for really for everyone at the club um, to get off to such a good start. I thought in the game as well. I thought we started really positive um, on the front foot. So we've got the fans on our side, and to score first was good. Um, conceded just a little bit of a sloppy goal, if we're honest. But then to to get the second goal and and push on from there, we would like to have probably got the third in the second half, which I thought we should have got, um, which made it a little bit tense and tight at the end. But as a team, I felt we really defended well toward, towards the end of the game. So yeah, delighted for everyone at the club. And of course, it probably um, was disappointing, as you say, when you conceded that goal. But yeah. to get that second one just before half time, how important was that? Yeah, very important. Um, it was a good finish from Joe, really calm and composed in the box. Um, and also good for Ine to get his first goal for the club in the first game as a number nine. You always want to score. No matter how bobbly or ugly it was, it was good. He was running in the box and ended up finishing it. But yeah, well, it was important to go in at 2 1 at half time, which I thought we deserved as well. Um, going into half time was definitely a positive. And you mentioned the players, Jay Ward and Innie. I mean, Jay Ward, first of all, he really does look an exciting talent, doesn't he? When he's on the ball, there's a sort yeah. of buzz around the crowd, anticipation. He did really, really well today. And of course, yeah. he took his goal brilliantly, just passed it yeah. into the net. I mean, he's a threat in those wide areas, whether it's on the left or the right as well. Um, he's definitely a good deliverer of the ball. Um, he's got good qualities as well and, and pace too. So, yeah, he'll be a key player for us this season and it's nice for him to start well. And, and when he sort of comes inside on his right foot, he definitely causes a lot of problems but I think that the, the team gave those forward players a platform to go and do those things by the back four being solid um, thought Nathan was good um, Richard and, and Josh were solid in there too the two full backs gave us some width and I think the two guys in front of them Joey and, and Chairs did a lot of work in there which gave us the platform for then Joe and Bobson and Innie to go and do their stuff and you mentioned Innie and he really did work so hard and he plays that lone striker's role and it's yeah. difficult isn't it because you've got to keep the back four yeah. occupied on your own well it is sometimes I mean, we, we'd like to get a little bit more support up to him as well, um, depending on sometimes the wide players work very hard for the team. So at times the ball will come back up to him and he will have to defend up there or, or win the ball, sorry, up there. And I thought he did the really ugly things today very well and was pleased that he got his goal as a re reward for that. And fitness levels look really good out there. I thought we played with a high energy and tempo yeah. and lasted really the whole 90 minutes. Yeah, we, it's been a focus for us pre-season. We knew if we wanted to play that high tempo pressing game, um, which we did in the first half in order to, to last the game, you, you need to be fit. Um, and I thought that, yeah, we, we were quite strong towards the end of the game. Um, I think that we've still got work to do in that area, but, but we worked very hard pre-season and had an easier week this week in terms of physical load to get them ready for today. And I think that was the, yeah, the right thing to do. And next up, it's Tranmere away. How are you looking forward to that? Yeah, really looking forward to it because we've obviously won the game today. It gives the boys a lot of confidence. Um, the pressure will be all on them. There won't be anything on us. No one expects us to go up there and do anything. But I think with the quality we got out there, you, you, you listen, you just never know. If you're a player or a member of staff or a manager, you want to go and play at places like Tranmere. So it obviously makes it better and that we've won the game today and can go up there with, with three, three points in, in the first home game. Finally, Anthony, do you see you being able to add to the squad at all this week? Yeah, we'd like to think so. We're still looking at one or two, um, possibly. Um, we obviously added Jamie, who's a good addition to us, Phil Pot, um, the striker who come on and, and helped out the team in the end. But I think, yeah, we'd, we'd still, we're still looking for one or two, maybe, and we'll see. But we want to make sure that we get the right ones in with the right character that can, as you can see today, the team are all wanting to work hard, track back, um, press, run around, and that's really important. So the, the loan signings we're getting have to buy into what we're trying to do here. And it looks like you've already picked up an injury. How, how is Fabio? Yeah, not sure, actually. I'd have to check on him. Um, it didn't look good, if I'm honest, to, to come off straight away. Um, I didn't even see it, to be fair, but obviously saw him on the ground. So, yeah, we'll assess that and, and see how we go. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well done again. Thank you.